Hi, I am Harini. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Rui. We built Rui to be the fastest and easiest way for you to build your product on the Google Cloud platform. Let's dive right into the product. First, you can get started on a familiar spreadsheet like UI for your Firestore database. You can do all the things that you can do in a typical spreadsheet, like filtering and sorting your data, freezing certain columns so that you can navigate better. You can do import and export of bulk data onto your Firestore database using CSV or JSON files. With Roi, you can build your data model visually as simple as clicking Add Table and Add Column. You can select from 30 plus fields that are supported, starting from basic ones like you know, text and numeric ones to more complex ones around images, files that actually get stored to your Firebase storage, connecting to different tables, JSON and code fields, and so much more. You can also collaborate with your teammates by very simply inviting them using the user management tab. Inviting non-technical team members to production data can be scary, and we solve for that by giving fine granular permission controls at table and field levels. So for example, if your marketing team can only edit these two columns, you can lock up the ones that they shouldn't edit by simply clicking lock columns here. You can also use custom Firestore rules to define your user groups and control further access. In addition, you can actually ensure anytime someone makes changes to a column field, for example, this text field, specific character limits are met, or a specific regex condition is met. You can also define default values for fields, so ensure static or dynamically that data field is always updated whenever a row is created. All right, so moving on to some of the more powerful features of ROE, let me show that to you by adding a very simple row. As you can see, a new row can be added by just clicking this button. And let me add a movie name, say Matrix 4, something everybody's looking forward to. And what you can see is behind the hoods, there are a few interesting things happening. First, there is a derivative column field, which is listening to the name field changes. And every time this field changes, it runs this quick cloud function. You can use any NPM package or API. Here, IMDB NPM package is used to read from that name ID of that IMDB. So as you can see, the output is automatically populated here. Similarly, there's another derivative column here right next to it, which listens to the movie ID field changes, appends it to the IMDB URL, and scrapes using the meta scraper NPM package, description, image, title, and URL. And so all the subsequent column fields next to it are automatically populated because it then reads from this JSON individual column fields. Interestingly, for images, we are also putting them in the Firebase storage and a URL is being populated automatically. This is super powerful because effectively this is a database that populates itself. We also have extensions that allow you to create automations quickly on your data store. So for example, if you write a send grid extension on any create, update, or delete, if you want to send out an email if certain specific columns are available, for example, the name of the movie, you can then very simply use the pre-built send grid extension by supplying only the parameters that you need. You can also update this extension to build your own custom ones. Roy is super powerful because it's open source, fully flexible, customizable, and scalable. So that's just scratching the surface of what you can do with Roy at high level. You can get started very simply with a one-click easy deploy link on our website. We would love for your feedback. Join us on Discord. We have lots of exciting features coming soon. So stay tuned for more videos that dive deeper into how you can build fast on the GCP stack using Roy. Thank you.